In this video, we are going to talk about pairwise comparison method. Pairwise comparison method is a method where voters rank all the candidates and the results are summarized in a preference table. Then they make a series of comparisons in, um, with each candidate where each candidate is compared with each of the other candidates. For example, if majority prefer X to Y, X receives one point. If there is a tie, each receives half a point. Most of the points received make the winner. So if we take a look at the table, we have the number of votes given by adding all the numbers, and in this case is 56. And we have Anna. The candidates are Anna, Charlie, and Bob. So let's start comparing them. So the first group, we are going to compare Anna with Charlie. So let's say Anna and Charlie. Let's compare them. This is how we do it. Let's look and let's read each column. And let's see where Anna is above Charlie. Then Anna gets all the points on that column. So here on the first column, Anna, it's above Charlie, right? It's on the first place while Charlie is on the second place. So this means Anna above Charlie. So it's going to be 19 plus. On the second column, Charlie is above Anna. So then we are not adding it. Then here, Anna, it's the last one, so again we don't add it. We are looking only where A is above C. Here A is not above C. Here A is above C. So we add, we add three points, because that's the corresponding here. And here A is above C again, so we add a one. So this means 23 points. Now let, let's look where C is above A in the table. So here, I'm going to erase this and look again for C above A. C is not, C is not above A. Here C is above A, so we get 18 plus. On the next one, C is above A, so plus 8 plus. On the next column, C is above A, so 7 plus. On the next column, C is not above A, and on the next one, C is not above A. So if we add this up, we get 26 plus 7 is um, 33. So basically, between these two, the winner is C. So then we can say, when we compare Dana with Charlie, Charlie got one point. Now let's compare Anna and Bob. So let's say A above B from the table. We raise and let's take a look where A is above B. So here A is above B. So we get 19 points plus. Here A is above B. So plus 18 plus. Here A is not above B, here A is not above B, here is not, and here it is, so plus 1. So this is equal 38. Now B above A, again, I'm going to erase so that I go step by step. B above A, here is not, here is not, here it is, B above A, 8 points, plus. B above A, yes, 7 points, plus B above A, yes, 3 points. And let's take a look at the last one. B is not above A, so that's all. So this is equal to 18. So if we compare these two, Anna wins, so Anna gets 1 point. 
And now we compare Dana with Charlie, Anna with Bob, and we have left Charlie and Bob to compare them. So let's see what we have C above B in the table. So we color code them C above B. Here it is. So it's 19 plus C above B. Yeah. Here it is, so 18, plus C above B, no, C above B, yes, 7, C above B, no, and C above B, no. So when we add this up, we get 37 plus 7, 44. Now, let's compare, let's still compare Charlie with Bob, but let's see if we have B above C, if we have more votes, or B is on the higher position in the table than uh, C. So B above C, no, B above C, no, B above C, 8, plus B above C, no, B above C, yes, 3, so from here, I hope it's clear that that's a 3. And then the last one, B above C, yes, 1 point. So this is equal to 12. So just comparing these two, we notice that C is above B, B, so Charlie has more points. So we add a point here. So now we have Anna 1 point. Charlie two points and Bob nothing. So the winner by pairwise comparison method is Charlie. Charlie wins by pairwise comparison. Now, if we are wondering, have we compare all the possible um, uh, did we make all the possible pairs here? Well, here is the formula that can help us figure out how many pair comparison we should uh, make. So in our case, it would be combination of three people taken two times, which you learn in this course is three factorial over two factorial times three minus two factorial. So it's 3 factorial over 2 factorial times 1 factorial. 3 factorial can be written 2 factorial times 3 over 2 factorial times 1. These cancel and we get 3. So did we have 3 pairs? Yes, we had Anne and Charlie, Anne and Bob, and Charlie and Bob. I hope this helps.